Hello guys, my name is Hamza Talal Khan. I am a student of mechanical engineering, currently enrolled in sixth semester. Today we are going to model a spur gear using parametric equations on PTC Creo 4.0. We start with a brief overview of nomenclature of spur gears. As you can see over here, we have four main circuits that we are going to use in our demonstration. The first one being the root diameter, the second base diameter, the third pitch diameter, and the fourth the outer diameter. The root diameter is the body of the gear. The base diameter serves as a starting point for tooth. The pitch diameter is simply the distance from the center of tooth to the center of gear. And the outside diameter serves as the highest point of gear teeth. Now before we start our actual modeling, we need to uh, see that what are uh, parametric equations and why do we need them in the first place. A parametric equation defines a group of quantities as functions or relation. What can be the quantities? The quantities can be the attendum, detendum, clearance, hold up, thickness and so on and so forth that are listed in normal case of any machine design book on spur gears. Now the relations can contain one or more independent variables called parameters. Parameters can be that we are using a number of teeth, pitch diameter, outside diameter, width and pressure angle. These equations are used to define coordinates of points that make up geometry such as curves or surfaces. Now. Uh, the question arises that why do we need parametric equations? If we need it to change, like say the outer diameter or the pitch diameter, we will have to perform calculations as all the above values are interconnected. Let me show you the actual relations. Here you can see that if we calculate the whole depth or the root diameter, we need to first calculate the base diameter and the diameter of pitch first in order to get to the third or fourth step. This involves a calculation which takes a lot of time when you are dealing with uh, modeling of gears on a large scale. For this we use the parametric equation. Parametric equation solves these problems for us as it does the calculations in the background and relieves us of all the time consumption. Let's start with the modeling of gear. Open the Creo Parametric 4.0, select new, uncheck the default template and give this file a name. I will use h underscore 1 just for demonstration purposes. Select OK. We will use the inch part solid template since we will be working in inch unitary system select ok now select front no uh, don't select one uh, before we do any modeling first we would like to use uh, input the parameters and relations that we are going to use for that select tools then select parameters in the par parameters as i have shown you in this set uh, there are the five parameters that we are going to use the number of teeth, pitch diameter, outer diameter, width and pressure angle these are their values uh, we are going to input them one by one first up is the number of teeth let's input the value number of teeth the type will be integer give this a value of 19 for our case then add another parameter of pitch diameter pitch diameter give this a value of 3.167 inch then we will again input the outer diameter give this a value of 3.50 inch then we will enter the parameter of width width give this a value of 1 inch and lastly we will give the parameter of pressure angle give this a value of 20 degrees press ok then we need to add relations for this click relations box and in this box we will input the relations I provided the relation and the parameters in set 1 copy these relations and paste them in the box 
before we move on we need to verify this relation so click on the verification box as you can see the system has successfully verified our relation if you have errors produced at this stage you need to manually type these all relations since Creo is font sensitive if you manually type uh, these relations hopefully this will resolve your issue press ok and let's continue click on the model tab select the front pane and then select extrude select the sketch sketch view sketch a circle give the diameter of circle a value of root diameter type root diameter click ok give the extrude value of width then click ok after that we need to sketch three circles for the two profile select the front pane then select sketch select circle sketch the first circle as the base diameter then select another circle draw another circle give this a value of pitch diameter then we select another circle and we give this a value of outer diameter select ok now we need to uh, generate the involute curve for the tooth profile for that we will select datum select curve then select curve form equation now this equation curve needs two things the first one is the equation the second one is the reference for reference we will select the coordinate system from the model tree select coordinate system then select equation for the equation we will select the equation from set 2 please be noted here that we I will provide these both sets of equations in the description you can download it from the Google Drive copy then paste those relations over here again verify those relations as the relations are verified click OK and close the prompt as you can see a curve is now generated press OK now for the tooth profile to be complete we need to have a second curve for that we need a datum plane so that we can 3d mirror this curve datum, datum plane will be created at a certain length that length will be the circular tooth thickness half of the circular tooth thickness uh, so let's have let's sketch that length select the front plane and select sketch select the arc function of center and ends no don't select the arc function first we need to have references for uh, so that we can have this intersection point uh, and first we will select the half circle and the curve and we'll click solve and place this place the reference then we will select arc with center and ends select this point of intersection and draw a curve of random length I think there's a okay okay sorry I'm making a mistake yes of random length now you can see that the system is measuring from this reference line we need the system to measure from this first red point to the other red point that is a circular tooth thickness for that we will select the dimensions tab then we will select the first red point and then the second red point then we will select the press the middle mouse button as you can see the dimensions are corrected we will then give this a value of circular tooth thickness press enter as you can see the system has relayed the circular tooth thickness press ok to exit the sketches then we will select the point give this an offset of 0 0.5 offset of 0 0.5 means half the distance of the circumferential length that is the circular tooth thickness select ok and then we will 
select the plane feature as you can see a plane is generated now we will uh, this plane needs a second point to for it to be pu fully placed so we will select the central axis by holding down the control key hold down control key and select the central axis as you can see the datum is placed select ok now we will use this datum plane to 3d mirror this curve for that select curve 1 for model 3 then select 3d mirror and then select datum 1 as your reference plane click ok now you can see the second curve is created after that we will then uh, we have now two steps ahead of us um, the first step will be to sketch and extrude the tooth profile and the second step will be to pattern the tooth profile over this whole body let's do the first step select the front plane then select extrude be in a sketch view all right we will disable all the plane for our ease now we will select some references select the first uh, the root diameter the base diameter and the outer diameter then select the two curves that we have just created and select solve and close the prompt then select line and click this line and please be sure that you see this perpendicular sign when you draw this line then we will select the central line 2d central line function and we will draw a line from this intersection point to the central axis point now select the line that you have just drawn and mirror it over the central line that you just created as you can see the central the line is now created now for our tooth sketch to be complete we need to complete this gap and also uh, project these two curves in this half circle for that we will select the arc center and end select center and select these two points then we will select the 2d project and we will project these two curves and the half side by circle select chain and close then we will just clean this up a little bit so that we can have our final sketch complete as you can see the sketch is now complete press ok as you can see now we will give this a value uh, the extruded part will be equal to the width of the gear give this a value of width and press ok now only a final step remains uh, for that we will uh, select the extrude 2 option and then select the pattern co command and then we will display all the access point and display the datums we will then select from here the axis and also select the axis of the gear we will then uh, equally divide the number of teeth over 360 for that we will uh, check this option select the number of teeth as 19 and click ok as you can see our spur gear is now completed and now we head back to tools and the parameters as you can see the system has generated a diametral pitch base diameter hole depth these are the parameters that a system has generated from the relations that we have provided it we have only uh, inputted these five parameters and all the subsequent parameters are generated by the system itself this is the beauty of parametric equations we do not need to change any specific shape the parameters are the parameters are used to change the shape of the whole gear itself yes okay now uh, as a summary we head back to a flowchart this is a flowchart showing the parameters are connected to relations and relations are interconnected to final model that is the gear for, for the gear to be changed geometrically we need only to change the parameters itself we don't need to change any specific shape of the gear for example the teeth the outer diameter or anything 
we just need to change the parameters and the gear geometry will be changed but there is a catch as you see the outside diameter is changed you will see that over here in the petrol command in the model tree an error will be generated this is because a change of sketch happens in the tooth profile we need to change that sketch uh, for that i will make a subsequent video a follow up on this video so stay tuned to our channel and press the bell icon so you, you can uh, see the notification for my upcoming video till then thank you and bye bye